Welcome to more Ultra Moon, everybody. So last time we fought, or not fought, but we basically started the battle against the Araquanid. Oh my god. Okay. But yeah, basically this uh, is actually different from Ultra... Ultra? From the normal moon, right? Because I'm pretty sure that we fought a Wishy Wash here. I'm not crazy. Like, the good one, you know? Like, a massive one. Um, I'm gonna try Spark, but I might actually... Well... Here's the thing though, is it worth using charge because he he's probably gonna two-shot me and outspeed me. So with that I'm not gonna get a single attack off, which means Spark is actually better. I'm gonna use Spark this time. Wait, you, you did bubble. Are you serious right now, dude? Are you serious? That actually did a lot of damage though. Also, what did he just do? Oh! Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, see this is not good. It called a dupe. This is really bad. I mean, here's the thing. No, I'm, I'm gonna attack you. I'm totally gonna attack you. Okay, so I should be able to outspeed the other one, right? That dupe hider thing? Yeah, okay, so I can at least get some damage off. Okay, that's gonna kill me, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, we did some damage. That, that was pretty nice right there. So he's a bug water. Okay, that's not gonna work. That'll work. Wing attack, the thing is gonna outspeed it. I don't know, that's a little risky, but you know what, I have to try it. If I can outspeed this Araquanid, then I'm good. If not, I don't know what other moves he has up his arsenal, and he could kill me if he has a super effective move. But let's go for it. Wing attack. Here we go. Okay, I outspeed it. Wow. That did not kill, though. Okay, he used bubbles to the same thing. I mean, this monster has really... That... Oh, that's not good. Okay, kill me anyway, who cares? I was about to be pissed right now. I was totally about to... I was like, that speed drop was so important for him. Because that means he can outspeed me next turn, you know? Wow, okay, um... Okay, maybe this fake out should be enough for the kill. Let's hope it actually is. It's probably not. Oh my god, I got a critical hit and I killed him. Unbelievable, but so lucky. So lucky. Vital throw. Think about this move. It's 70 power, but it has decreased priority, but it never misses. The thing is, I believe Brick Break is better. Because it has 5 more power. It does not have decreased priority. It can miss, if you get like a sand attack or something. But, it also has the ability of breaking walls. So I just think Brick Break is much better. Much, much better. Okay, so here's a... Uh... I mean, like, oh yeah, there's, it's raining, I was like, why is that move so powerful? Because it's raining, that's why. Um, honestly, knockoff is my best bet here, because that's 65 base power, unstabbed, physical, tackles weaker, break break is going to get reduced to a little bit less than, about 50-ish power. Um, oh my god, that's not good, I'm actually going to freaking die to this thing. That's going to leave only my... Oh, only Brady. This is crazy. Almost all of mine are being knocked out. Okay, time to bring in Brady. Honestly, I can just get... Oh my god, wait, wait, what if he has Water Absorb? You know what, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just doing this. The last thing I want to happen is that his stupid Water Absorb kicks in or something, and then, yeah. Which is why they didn't Aqua Jet, you know? He defeated Totem Araquanid. Well, damn, I did it. After losing three Pokemon. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> What am I getting? I'm getting... The next Z-Crystal. 
for water. So what is this? Water water name Z? Wateranium Z? I don't know. I actually don't remember the freaking name. What is it called? Or Aquanium Z? No, that sounds stupid. Water EMC, yeah, okay. <laughs> A fishing rod. Okay, I know how to use a fishing rod. Let me just smash the A button here. Ten dive balls. Just... Red Gyarados. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll see you back there. Wait, can I war back there? Please? Thank you. Kiawi's trial. It will take place at Wella Volcano Park. Hmm. I see. So that's the hint. I need to go there. I must. Um, okay, so I'm all messed up here. I need to heal once again. So let's heal. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so who should I keep in the front? Uh, the thing is, I want to get a gold bat like as soon as possible. And because of that, I'm just I'm desperate, so I'm gonna put Swifty back in the front. Okay, Tauros, here we go. Hello, Suda Wudo. I'm gonna use my watery imp. Okay, well, there we go. They just ran off. Oh, great. It's these people back here. Again? Sure. I mean, why not? Poi pole? I don't know what the fuck a poi pole is, but okay. Well, let's battle your poi pole. So I'm battling Ultra Weak on Squad Solira. Poi pole. Okay, I'm guessing psychic something, which means I'm screwed. But you know what? I'm I'm stupid. But actually, I'm gonna use bite. X special defense. Okay, that's a waste of a turn. Good. That was not super effective, dude. What the f- okay, I can just confuse around you. Venos- Okay, that's a poison attack, never mind. Yeah, that's poison. Okay, so that means you're poison. Poison something, you look psychic. That means you're not psychic at all, because if even if you were poison psychic, Bite would still be super effective on you, but it wasn't. Um... Poison... Let me try wing attack them. Let's see how much this actually does. Yes, you hit yourself. Wing attack. That did not do that much either. Okay, use Venom Shock that time, but that's fine. That was a critical hit. Oh my god. Here's the thing. If he does it one more time... I don't actually know, but I'm going to switch. I mean... I think it's everybody I have, except Zubat is slow. They're all slow. I just need to hope that you hit yourself. Oh my god. You killed yourself, you freaking... Okay, so again, you're poison something, being weak only to psychic and ground. But it seems you have Levitate. Um, let me try Spark, sure, I mean. Damn it. Okay, use Charm, that's that's a pretty big problem for me. Because now Spark is barely going to do anything to you. Honestly, this is bad. This is pretty bad. There's not much I can do here, unfortunately. Okay, at least, come on, hit yourself one more time at least, please. Thank you. Okay, that makes things a little easier on me. 
I'm also trying to paralyze you if I can, but that's easier said than done. You snapped out. That's going to do over half damage, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. Well, that did almost the same thing, yet Carla resists it. What the heck? That is so weird. Gotta be kidding me. This is ridiculous. This is way too long. I'm just gonna let you die. There's no point in... Oh, no. There totally isn't. Beast boost. You're an ultra beast. I didn't know that. Okay. Time for the fake out for the kill. That's gonna be it. Please don't be a part ghost. Thank you. I don't know which way. You're poison something. I don't think you're a pure poison type. You look more than just a poison type. Well, see, that was a tough battle, and obviously one of my... Oh, my God. I'm so lazy to go back and heal. I don't think I want to do that. That little gesture, man. That's really funny. Okay. Well, um... You know what? I'm just going to use Revive to make sure that she keeps getting experience. But, I'm going to keep going. Here, let's use a Soda Pop. Alright, so let's see. We are now on Route 5? Wait, no, Route 6. My bad. No, yeah, Route 6. Okay. Well, that's a double battle. Okay, well, that's going to be nice as well. A double battle. Let's take a look at what's going to happen here. So we are fighting Dancing, Family, Jen, and Fumiko. They have one each. Jigglypuff and Igglybuff. Okay, this is easy. Well, I don't know. The Jigglypuff could supposed to be a little problematic, but we'll see. Okay. So I'm going to get a wing attack. On Igglybuff. And then you... You know what, I think it's better to just go, because here's the thing, if, yeah, I'm actually not going to fake out. And the reason why is because if I do that, I essentially am not able to one-shot one of them, and they can attack me, the other one, the one that I don't fake out. Whereas if I, I mean... It's really because of that, too. The fact that I knew Breakup was going to one-shot the Jigglypuff. If, it, if I wasn't sure, I would have faked out. What I'm saying is that it essentially would waste a turn. Okay. Well, I mean, that was really easy because... As you can see, a wing attack almost killed the Eagly buff. That was not super effective. And Swifty is extremely close to being a goal bat. Alright, let's see. Okay, these are... Yeah, that's closed off. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. Here's an item. That contains another revive. So many revives in this game that they give you for free. I'll take it. That's that's nice. Also, it seems like there's an item over there in the west. I couldn't really see. But I'll take a look soon. Pokemon Breeder William. Bound Sweet. That's a grass something, which is nice for Zubat. Yep, alright, so with that, I believe that's enough to reach a Golbat. Because I, I believe we've all got 22, if I have this correct. My memory is usually pretty good about these things that I am pretty confident about. And I feel like it's 22. Tom Brady 24, okay. Bubble Beam. Uh, yes, actually, get rid of Water Gun because that move is garbage. So now I have a 65 base power that can also lower speed. I think that's what Bubble Beam does. I know Bubble does that, but I'm not sure about Bubble Beam. Pretty sure it does that. Okay. Marie. Oh, jeez. Um... I think it has static, doesn't it? Like, I'm pretty sure it has static. I 
Okay, that's a good start. I think it's dough. I feel for certain that this guy has static. Thunder wave. Hmm. Oh jeez, that's gonna almost one-shot me. Well, actually, they didn't do as much as I thought, okay. Okay, one more bite, one more bite. Please don't get paralyzed next turn. Cotton Spore. Okay, good. I mean, my speed harshly felt that was a waste of a turn because I was already paralyzed. Yep, and there we go. Zubat is now evolving. Which also means, I mean, honestly, um, I'll get a Crobat eventually. As long as I just don't let my Zubat faint all that much, and as long as I just keep walking and leveling up and stuff, it's gonna be... It's pretty easy. It'll be pretty easy to eventually get a Crobat. Crobat is a fantastic Pokemon. I love Crobat. Okay. There we go. Number 81, registered. Yes, I know, I know. And it is a poison flying, as we already know. So... I'm actually going to switch and put somebody else in the front. I'll put Big Show back in the front. Let's do that. Okay, let's explore this. What the heck? What's this? Oh my god, it's a secret. It's a TM. TM88 sleep tag. So it goes back into the, uh... The farm, or the ranch. Wow. Wow, it's a TM. That's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and uh, go back now and just keep progressing down. Hello. What's her name? Mud... Muddale. Yep, I'm the same trainer, huh? Well, yeah, I know them. Yeah, that's right, you do. I am Hapu. Sure. You're gonna battle? So it's a two on two, but I think it's not actually a two on two. Because we're not gonna be together. That's the thing about these newer gens, like, they, they took that out. Like, there's so many opportunities where, like, you're in a 2-on-2 situation. Normally, what they would do in the older ones, or not too old, like, basically around Gen 4 to Gen 6, is that it would essentially be a double battle, you know? But, in the newer ones, I mean, maybe in Gen 6 they also did that, but, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, fake out. Honestly, I think a fake out alongside a... No, yeah, that's gonna be... Oh, that's easy. This will easily kill you. Is that all you have, by the way? I actually don't know, but I feel like it is. Yep. That is totally it. Wow. Floon? Oh, I didn't even see the Drift Loon. What? Oh, jeez. Peace out. Alright, the Drifloon is going. My name is Shiny. Yeah, yeah, sure. We will definitely meet again. Oh, we definitely will. Battle Royal? I'll think about that. I shall. Alright, now, now there are two ways to go. Let's look at the sign here. Royal Avenue. Or I can just keep going down. If I keep going down... I mean, there's more trainers here, which I guess I'll battle, sure. What do you mean? You can't judge me on that. I, I haven't even shown you mine. Beauty Brittany. You have a Cubone. Okay, if you're ground type, Marowak is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. That's a fun fact. 
Alright, so I'm gonna obviously fake out first. Critical hit, ooh. Okay, that's nice. Now let's get a brick break. This should do a lot of damage. Another wow. Two in a row. That was easy. Simple enough because of the critical hits, of course. Alright, so that can be broken by Tauros. That's like a TM over there. Which, yeah. Wait, it's not. Oh, I thought it was a TM. I saw a yellow. It was a flower. XP. Okay. Carbos. Alright, let's get Tauros back out here. And break this stuff. Here's an item. That is a rare candy. Um, wait, can I actually just go down right now and skip that other area? Okay, well, here's you. Let me battle you. But before that, I just... Uh, like, before I actually go over there, I want to see if I can explore the bottom first. I feel like I can, but I might be wrong. Dancer Micah. Reminds me of Maester Micah from Final Fantasy X, although it's spelled differently. It's just M-I-K-A. This is M-A-I-K-A. -A. Okay, so... What is it, a fire flying or something? No, it's a psychic. See, the game just helped me out right now because I actually forgot it's it's freaking type. Knock off. Peck? It's a psychic flying then, okay. Hmm. The question is, will I survive? I actually don't know how much HP I had before that peck. It wasn't full HP, right? Damn it, I died. Dude. Dude. I gotta bring out... I gotta bring out Brady. See, I was gonna bring out Charger Bug, but the problem is that he's gonna get killed by a peck. So it's better to just go ahead and do this and just do an Aqua Jet, and that's gonna be enough for the kill. Yep, and that's that. Well. See, I actually can run down. Oh, wait. Haven't I already been here before? I don't know. Hehe <laughs> city. I mean, I I know the city, of course, but like it's it's obviously where we first made it into this island. But oh yeah, because we couldn't actually go this way, right? Like we had to go up here. I remember that. Yeah, I totally remember that. Okay, so in a way, it just loops around. Okay, I see. But again, I think that this place over here was previously blocked off. I'm pretty sure. Like, so that means I never explored these buildings. Okay, I'm just looking for stickers. If there's any, of course, but I don't see any here. Hmm, the Diglett's... Diglett's Tunnel, yeah. Can I actually just go in here? I actually can. I'm not gonna go there yet, though. I do not want to do that quite yet. Okay. Can I go in here? No, I cannot. Can I go here? No, I cannot. Can I go here? Yes, I can. I can keep going higher, but hold on. That's a team skull. 
Oh my god, what is this building here? Uh, red? <laughs> sure. I'll come back if I remember, of course. So is this like... Okay, I see. Like, Game Freak Headquarters. Like, every Pokemon game has that, man. Game Director. Gotta grab that. There we go. Another sticker. That gives me 23 now. Ciao. <laughs> 4,001. Which is actually a higher chance than the previous games because that was like a 8,000. 1 in 8,000 or something. This gives me 24 stickers now. What the hell? Here's the Aether Foundation. Hmm. Left Pokeball. <laughs> okay. That's a little strange. Alright, so that's it here, because I believe these doors are not going to open. No. Let me just make sure and check the other one, too. Okay, it does not. Alright, so I'm done with this floor as well. Yeah, because that's actually all that there is to do. So I'm going to run all the way back down. I... Seriously? I didn't mean to do that. Let me talk to you. Okay, nothing interesting. Uh, let me talk to you now. Three captains, okay. Uh, here's a sticker. That gives me 25 now. Anything over here? I don't think so. Here's another sticker. This gives me 26. Here's an item. Big mushroom. And then this building, what the hell's in here? Let's take a look. Okay, so apparently I cannot go over there. I mean, that's fine, I guess, right? That's fine. Let me... Okay, sorry, I was just looking at something on my computer really fast. Let's come back over here now, and I believe... I mean, I'm pretty much done here. I'm just going to go back to... But yeah, Stalin is blocking that way so I cannot go yet, which means I need to run all the way back up north. So into the Royal Avenue. Yep, Royal Avenue. Oh my god, this place looks pretty nice. Alright, there's another center right there. What about you? Hmm. Um, let's check over here. I mean, I'm pretty sure nobody is going to give me stuff, but just to be safe, I always like talking to pretty much everybody, you know? An Ultra Ball. I'll take that. I already talked to you. What am I, what am I doing? That's Gladion. Hmm. He's going in. Here's him a champ. Yes, I'm not going to enter quite yet, but I need to explore everything else first. Hypno. Here's a sticker. This gives me 27 now. Here's an item. Contains an HP up. Okay. And that's actually over here as well. Let's go back now. Got 
Can I actually go? The heck? I mean, I could. Okay, so the egg is hatching. Let's see what it could be. Oh my god. What is it? I actually have no freaking clue. No idea. It's an Eevee? Oh, dude. Like, that's amazing. The problem is, is that it's level 1, right? Uh, that's... I mean, I'm gonna keep it in my party, but if it ever catches up and levels, then okay. I guess I'll use the Eevee. Anyway, I'm gonna call you... I'm trying to think here. Oh, I know. Your name is Bosch. Okay. I don't know if you all can pick up that reference. But if not, I guess I'll say it. Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg. That is from Final Fantasy XII. Okay, so... Let me run back down... What the heck? To the bottom here. And talk to these uh, Team Skull people. And then you as well. Okay, basically nothing here. I'm gonna enter a store, though. Okay. I see, I see. Alright, so these people here... Uh, let me see. Are y'all gonna give me something? Look at your Pokemon. It's a Drifloon. Thrifty Megamart. This is a big ass store, man. It's really big. So these are actually the workers, you know, the ones who are like in the aprons, you know? Aprons. I don't know if I said apron. Apron. Tomato berries? I'll take a tomato berry. Okay. I don't think I. Did I talk to you? Also, are there any stickers here? I mean, I don't see any, so I'm pretty sure that there's not. And I also talked to everybody and nobody gave me stuff except a free sample tomato berry. Wait, but how do I buy stuff? Oh, there we go. Okay, buy. Um, I'm actually good. I don't want any of that stuff. Actually good as well. Don't need that. The hell? I'm not gonna buy that. No. Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.